Most of the time, we would assume that transporting items are only done through trucks and similar vehicles. But what if the objects to be transported are bigger than any truck? In such cases, SPMTs or self-propelled modular transporters are utilized. It is an upgraded version of a hydraulic modular trailer that is in the form of a platform-heavy hauler with a long array of wheels. Although each transportation operation by SPMTs is done with much preparation, some just seem to be very dangerous. Welcome back to Mighty Machines. This is what we will be talking about in this video. The trend on self-propelled modular transporters started around the 20th century when self-propelled transport modules were used in shipbuilding. These modules were transported by SPMTs, just like the Herakit self-propelled transporters. Herakit offers services that are engineered to assist you in your heavy lifting and transport needs. They take pride in their sets of equipment that comply with the highest international safety and quality standards. Up next, we have the Perkins Road Train. In transporting heavy items, companies need to develop systems to ensure the success and safety of the operation. The Perkins Road Train is one of the impressive examples of this. One California utility hired Perkins to transport four steam generator sections that weigh 760,335 pounds. With the size of the items, precautions had to be made to ensure the accomplishment of the task. So, Perkins thought of developing the Road Train Transporter together with 48 Dual Lane Loadings Hydraulics Gas Bogies. The concept came from the project managers of Perkins and was built by a major U.S. trailer manufacturer.
some clients also look not only for heavy-duty pieces of equipment, but also for all-in-one solutions for heavy load projects. This is where the self-propelled electronically steered modular vehicles, MSPE from Cometo comes in. Cometo was hired to transport the 3,500-ton ship section, and they successfully did this through the seamless interoperability of their equipment. Aside from this, the MSPE EVO 2 also offers modularity, versatility, and maneuvering accuracy even in confined spaces. It also uses a fully coordinated and carefully optimized surface treatment system. Indeed, giving solutions to many problems in this industry. Speaking of issues the transport industry faces, the Feynmanville Telemax flatbed semi-trailer promises time-efficient and cost-effective transportation for long and bulky loads, like power plants or building structures. It is engineered to have a light weight, greater steering angle, and low loading platform height design, thus allowing it optimum maneuverability. The Telemax flatbed is also the longest available loading platform with a four-fold extension. Complete with a strong 19.5 feet pendle axles with 60 degree steering angle and 600 millimeter stroke. SPMTs have pretty much transported everything, even those that seem unusual to most people. One example is the Felbermayer self-propelled module transporter, which needed to haul 100 components in dual traffic right across Europe to Tizorifaros, northeast of Budapest. Upon reaching the temporary constructed port in Tizorifaros, two self-propelled modular transporters with 18 axle lines and 500 horsepower each were assigned to the deliveries. This project was completed around mid-May. It was also recorded that around 100 heavy transports had been successfully driven across Europe in roughly five months. Furthermore, space shuttle fuel tanks were also transported using similar methods. This specific space shuttle fuel tank of the ET-94 needed to be moved from Marina del Rey to the California Science Center. Since it is a very important item, it traveled by truck while being escorted by police, city officials, and astronauts. Even with such a big and fragile item, the whole transportation only lasted around 19 hours. Very impressive. This video gets wild as we go over to the moving of a 50-foot magnet. Emert International, an Oregon company specializing in moving heavy things over a long distance, was commissioned to transport a 17-ton, 50-foot wide ring magnet. The operation required a 3,200-mile land and sea journey from Long Island to the Chicago suburbs. 
Due to the nature of the operation, years of preparation and international collaboration between two national laboratories were needed. The Emert team did amazing planning and execution because the six hours for 10 miles trip that they expected on the second day of the operation only lasted for two hours and 15 minutes. Upon reaching the site, the team attached the crane to the shipping apparatus holding the ring in place. Minutes later, the whole operation was finished. Finally, Liebenkrieger High Tonnage Mining a 363-ton mining truck is hauled by what seems to be a smaller hauling vehicle. Driving the mining truck itself is commonly the first thought most people have. However, due to the weight and structure of the truck, driving it without the help of a hauling vehicle would create some impact and damage on the road. Thank you for tuning in to Mighty Machines. We would love to hear your thoughts and suggestions through the comment section below. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you are updated with our content. Until next time, 